Hello YouTube and welcome. I'm Checkmate and you're watching episode 21 of my Let's Play Kerbal Space Program series. If you're new to the channel there should be a link up here in the top right of your screen. You can click on that and take you to the playlist for this entire series. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Now in today's episode we're going to get started with our moon and Minmus space stations and we've already built them we're going to use the same setup that we had for Kerbin and let's see we're going to go first to Minmus I believe because we have a contract here build a new orbital station around Minmus um, actually we're not going to, be able to complete this one because I was just noticing have a facility supporting at least 12 Kerbals. <laughs> okay. Have three scientists on the station. Okay, scratch that idea. We're still going to go to Minmus first. Um, but I won't be completing this contract today. That's unfortunate. I didn't see that. Mm. That's a lot of... We would have to have at least two science stations and then probably one of the, so that would be four. If we did a hitchhiker can, that would get us eight. We would need probably two hitchhiker cans on that station for that to, to meet that um, 12 Kerbal requirement. Oh well, let's see. We may go to the moon then. Mm -hmm instead because we have this contract to uh, rendezvous park two vessels next to each other around the moon we will be doing that we'll be docking up the two sections because we're going to launch them separately so let's do the moon let's go ahead and get the moon done so at least we can complete this contract because we need some cash sitting at one million right now but that goes as we've seen that goes fast so we already have everything built from last from the last mission and just like last time I'm going to send up my generator first to get to the moon we're going to need about 5000 delta v and this setup here gives us that all right so here's our generator and this booster will get us to almost 5300 delta v there which we only need 5000 for the moon we need 53 for minmus so this should do both jobs now let's get this thing in orbit we have no crew on board there's no no habitable modules on this this is all just the generator so i think i want to park this about 20 kilometers from the surface of the moon I'm going to get this into orbit. I'm actually going to go ahead and put it around the moon and I will cut and meet you at the moon. Okay, so here we are at our moon encounter and I actually decided to go with 50 kilometers. And the reason I want to do this I want to be inside the the border limit for what the game considers to be low and high orbit around the moon. And according to the wiki, um, 60 kilometers is the border. So anything outside of 60 kilometers would be high above the moon and under 60 would be near the moon. And I want to do that because when I come in with my lab, I'm going to be high above and I want to collect all the high above science while we're out here. But then I want to bring the lab inside so we can, after we collect the data, we can run all those experiments again with a near, near the moon um, situation. So should be able to double up on the science by parking it inside that border. So that's the reason I decided to go with the 50 kilometers. 
and I want it to be far enough out so that it's not in the way of when we're coming in for doing other landings. You know, I'm normally 20 or 20 kilometers or so when I do do a moon landing, and I don't want the space station to be in the way of doing that. So I wanted to put it as far out as I could where it's out of the way, but close enough that we can get that other situation of science. So we're going to capture our orbit here. And then we can go back to the space center and get our other uh, other section. I'll live with that. Let's see if we can maybe get just a little bit closer. I don't want to affect my periapsis. I'm just going to live with that. Let's get this booster separated. And then we'll go get the lab. I don't have any lights on this. I keep forgetting to put lights on the generator section. We do have this one dock light. <laughs> it's good enough. And like last time, I'll deploy the back panels. I'm going to close these front ones. Actually, let's let's go this way. I'll keep these closed. We'll go like that. All right, back to Space Center. Now let's get the science section. Now before we can do that, we need scientists. Because I've killed off a scientist. <laughs> right? No, it was Bob. Yeah, Bob was a scientist. So I only have currently... I have one level two scientist. Old Murfert here. We need one more, and unfortunately, I don't see any more available right now. So that means we're sending up just one scientist with the station. That's not great. Oh well. This one is better than nothing. So let's load up. Now I am going to go f this time. I'm going to grab this lab section with booster revision. And there's really nothing nothing fancy about this. I've just... Uh, we got... I made a couple of adjustments. So I think I changed these. These I think these had Reliant. And I put these on here. And maybe even... I can't remember if I had the main cell before or not. Um... Put some bracing here and here. I don't think any of this changed. I may have changed this section here. But anyway, let's put our one scientist on and we will have to start working on getting more scientists. And let's head out. Throttle up SAS on. And so once again, I'll put this, I'll get into the moon's sphere of influence and see you then. Okay, so here we are. We're in the moon sphere of influence. And I'm going to go ahead, while we're out here, and run some science. We get the material study, the mystery goo. 
I'm putting all this in the lab. Log pressure. Log temperature. And then we need to do the magnetometer boom. Four hundred fifty. Wow. I don't know if I can do a crew report. But I can clean the experiments. Let's see, what do we have? I don't have any science stored in here. Oh, I do. I have 200 data. So I should be able to clean experiments to make sure we don't use up our electricity out here. Let's just roll that panel around to the... And then I'm going to EVA while I'm out here and get the EVA report. Okay, so now we can come in here and get our orbit capture. So I think I'm going to go about 80 on my apoapsis here. Well, let's do that and then let's get around here and fix this inclination. pretty close. Now let's look at doing our encounter. Pretty far out and it has to catch up to me so I'm gonna do a little fast forwarding here and let it get a little closer. It may take a while for this thing to catch up to me. I could live with that. 8.9 meters per second, 500 meter separation. I'll tell you these rendezvous, I still need a lot of practice apparently. All right, we're going to take that. And we want to warp to about right here. And start looking at getting our intercept.
Okay, I'm coming up on an intersect. We're going to be 800 meters apart and 3.9 meters per second relative speed. That's the debris. <laughs> Make sure we're not... I still have a couple hundred delta V here, so I do have to start thinking about... Well, our relative speed is pretty... Pretty, uh low there actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and burn towards that target a little bit Just got to be patient. I get in a hurry here and try to force things. I'd love to get this down to just like a hundred meter separation. I don't think it's gonna. I think I have to burn towards the target again. Hundred meter separation would be nice. All right, gonna make this work. I'm gonna separate here. Actually, I'm gonna point to the planet and undock. Let us control from here and align towards our target. I'm going to activate my RCS and just want to get that relative speed. Is that going to be right in my way? We may save this mission yet. Oh, Murph was getting worried there for a minute.
So was old checkmate. <laughs> I wasn't sure we was gonna get this one knocked up. I was really having trouble getting that. I wanna get the speed back down. Go to my caps lock so I can get my One meter a second here. And RCS off. All right, we did it. We are docked up. Now let's look at our orbit. We're 50 by 50, so that's great. That's where we wanted to be. And now I can Spacewalk, Murph, and collect this science out here. I wonder how much you can get just from here, if any. Do I have to collect this science? does not appear as though I need to collect this. So let's see if we can just run it again. So now, if we conduct material study, well, first of all, let me look and see. I currently have 200 data data on board. If I do that, I have 275 data. Nice. All right, mystery goo. Temperature. Pressure. course our magnetometer. Six hundred seventy five. So now we have on board five hundred data. That is outstanding. Okay. Let's deploy the other solar panels. And this Skylab is up and running. Just grab a couple of screenshots. All right, well, that's the moon. We have our science station around the moon now. In the next episode, we will do the same thing around Minmus. And we will have our position here in this system more or less where I wanted it to be before we start moving outward. So, thanks for watching. If you want to follow this series, there should be a card pop up here in the right hand corner. You can click on that to the playlist and just give me a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.